All right, class. It's Tuesday. Your Christ like sheet is in your Christ like binder. We're going to pull it out. It's 8A. Jesus rejected in Nazareth. It comes from two different places in the Bible Matthew and Luke. Here you see Jesus preaching. Remember, they stood up to read God's word off a scroll and they sit down to preach. Of course, the editors did a great job. I want to show all the people that were intently listening. And then, a little later in the story, the people who were outraged. People that drug them out of the city. People that tried to throw them off a cliff. As we read today, we want to go ahead and find the key facts, details, and also want to apply it to our lives. That we pray for the Holy Spirit to come into our hearts and strengthen our faith so that when we hear God's word, our faith grows, rather than the devil who's trying to tempt us to reject it. After preaching in Judea and Samaria, Jesus returned to Galilee. The Holy Spirit was with him, and the news about him spread throughout the whole countryside. He taught in the village synagogues, and everyone praised him. Then Jesus went to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and where all the people knew him. On the Sabbath day, he went to the synagogue, as he usually did. The synagogue was filled with people who wanted to hear him and to hope he would perform a miracle. When Jesus stood up to show that he wanted to read from the scriptures, the leader of the synagogue handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Jesus unrolled the scroll to chapter 61, where he read the verses which told about the coming Messiah, which is a fancy word for Savior. The Spirit of the Lord is with me. Now these are his words. You see how it's kind of in a little bit tighter? These are the words that Isaiah was prophesying about Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord is with me. He has anointed me to bring the good news to the poor. He sent me to announce to the prisoners of sins that they are free, and to the blind that they can see. Now, that doesn't always mean blind like I can't see. It means like spiritually blind, like I don't know who Jesus is. To free those who are crushed by sin, and to announce that the time has come that the Lord will save his people. Then Jesus rolled up the scroll, and he handed it back to the leaders and sat down. In the synagogue, a man stood up to read from the scriptures and sat down to speak to the people. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on Jesus, waiting to hear what he would say. He said, This very day, as you have listened to me, the words of scriptures came true. Jesus meant that he was truly the promised Savior about whom Isaiah had spoken, that God had chosen him for this special mission. He was the one whom would preach the good news to the poor, open the eyes of the blind, and forgive those who were troubled by their sins. At first the people who were there spoke well of him, but when they began to realize that he was claiming to be the promised Messiah, they whispered among themselves, Did he say he was the Messiah? How can this be? Isn't this Joseph's son just a hometown boy? Jesus knew what they were thinking. You'll probably quote the proverb to me, Doctor, heal yourself. Perhaps you expect me to do miracles here just as I have done in Capernaum. We're going to hear more about Capernaum in a future lesson. I tell you this, he continued, No prophet is welcome or believed by the people of his hometown. He went on to warn the people if they rejected God's word, as the people had when the prophet Elijah and Elisha preached to them in the Old Testament times, then it would be given to the people who were not Jews. And remember, this is Gentiles. This is us. We're not Jews. The people in the synagogue were so furious when they heard this that they dragged Jesus out of the synagogue to the top of the cliff outside the town. They planned to throw him off the cliff, but Jesus walked right through the middle of the crowd and went on his way. Dear Holy Spirit, lead us to respect all the messengers of your word and to listen to their, to their message. Use your word, which we hear from your messengers and which we read in your, on our own, to strengthen our faith so that we will never reject Jesus. We're praying for the Holy Spirit. He's the one who's in our hearts, creating faith and strengthening faith. Our assignment today is going to help us remember the key points of this lesson. Again, the key points were don't reject God's word. Listen to your pastors, your teachers, your parents. Read God's word on your own and have your faith strengthened. That's what you're going to do on the scroll on the bottom. Step number two, it says, On the scroll, write the short prayer asking the Holy Spirit to strengthen your faith and keep you from rejecting Jesus. You can use this prayer back here to help model for you maybe what you want to say here. Okay, then the rest of the assignment. I'm going to help you with a little bit of that. It says, read the following statements about today's lesson. Write T if it's true, F if it's false. News about Jesus and his teaching never left Jerusalem. That means only Jerusalem heard about it. 
Hopefully you're all thinking that is false, Mr. Bauer. Everybody around the whole countryside was talking about it. Two, Jesus returned to his hometown of Jerusalem. There was nothing about Jerusalem in this story. That's obviously false. His hometown was Nazareth. Jesus read from the scroll of the prophet Micah. Micah, Micah, Micah. I don't remember hearing anything about Micah. In the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. See all the answers are right here in the lesson. Isaiah. False. What's going on here? Jesus told the people that he was a savior about whom Isaiah had spoken. That is true. All right. These bottom six are on your own. And then don't forget about a prayer. God bless your day.